What's going on everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Toro PowerJet F700 leaf blower. And this thing is super cool. Um, I was on the fence between the Works and the PowerJet F700. Um, and the Works, I can't think of it offhand, but it was pretty comparable. I think um, it was just a, a little bit lower in the CFMs compared to this one. Um, but this is the one that I went with mainly for one reason this handle right here. And so um, the one cool thing is that uh, my old leaf blower, it had this handle and it, was, it, was, it just came in handy, like especially when I was blowing and everything like that. Um, and the suction was from the bottom. It was a lot bigger, so the handle was more useful, whereas this one is pretty small, compact, and light, which is kind of like the selling point of the works. Um, you know, they say that it's really light and so you can just use one hand, but this thing is so powerful that just using one hand, uh, you're still gonna be fighting it. And then if you have to do a big lawn or something, you're gonna get tired, you're gonna, your arm's gonna get pumped. So you definitely wanna have um, a handle grip so that you just have more control. You can um, move this to the rear and then just balance it out a lot more. Especially when you have this on max setting, um, you're definitely gonna want something uh, to control this. Um, the other cool thing is that the old, I would say the old leaf blower that I had and a few of the other ones that I was looking at, it just has a switch and um, it's just high and low. And so if you know you want to just use it in high, then you just got to use it maxed out. Whereas this one has like an adjustment dial. So you can, um, you know, almost like in increments of 10%, which is really cool because you only may need a little bit. Um, so you can just, you know, kind of thumb that dial like this and then, you know, just kind of use a little bit and if you need to max out then you can just go all the way uh, to the end and so uh, that's really cool the only thing is this little dial is a little flimsy that's the only thing and i know just kind of working it with your thumb like that over the years um, it might break but i'm sure toro has replacement parts for that um, also for all you machinists and just diyers out there i definitely know that you'll you'll be able to just machine mill out some kind of aluminum knob um, and then replace it with that. So uh, it's not too big of a deal. Also, uh, you can take off this, let's see, we can take this off here and we'll sit this on the ground right here. And then I'm gonna go and get a flashlight. So if you look inside, let me see here. If you look inside right there, you can see that cone. And um, that's kind of like the whole uh, fan system, turbine system, however you want to call it, because this thing is super powerful. And so um, that just helps uh, guide the airflow. Also, you have these like two fins right here that just helps, and that just helps stabilize uh, the airflow, uh, reduces turbulence so that you can get that maximum performance out of this um, blower. Um, this right here, I noticed one thing. Um, I notice like right here, you can see that this just opens up pretty easily. Um, but that's not too big of a deal because once you, once you put this, this sleeve on right here, then you don't have to worry about it like opening up. So that's not a big deal, but it's just something to keep in mind. Um, aside from that, you do have screws that are reinforcing everything. So with that said, Oh, also you have this um, wall mount right here, which is really cool because uh, I hang it on the wall and then I just wrap the extension cord that goes with it. Um, and it's just super nice, super convenient. Doesn't take up hardly any space. Um, and yes, I did go with a corded uh, leaf blower just for that power. Um, battery, I know battery cordless is really awesome. It's convenient, but I was going for max power. And so that's why I wanted to go with a cord. So um, I don't see myself like really traveling and blowing leaves or, you know, like um, going on like 10 acres at the very edge of 10 acres. And, you know, I need that extension cord, you know. So um, for, for my needs, the cord was perfect. And I really wanted to go with max power um, more so than anything. And the price was great. This is, this is just a little over $50. Uh, and for what you get, the performance that you get out of this is just super cool. So yeah, uh, let's, let's go ahead and test out that performance. And you, you've seen this thing blow leaves. You've seen all that. We're not going to get into that. 
we are gonna do something different. We're gonna jump on a skateboard right here and we're gonna just see how much thrust this thing uh, has. So uh, I'm gonna turn it on while I'm on the skateboard and then we'll just see how far it pushes me. So, um, all right, let's get started on that. Okay, so we're all set up, we're plugged in, and now we're gonna do a control test. Uh, so I'm just gonna stand on the skateboard right here and let's just see what happens. So as you can see, we're on a little decline right here. It kind of just are, you know, just rolls naturally downhill, um, even though we're in a garage. So that's just the control. So we know that we're gonna be fighting uphill um, once we turn this blower on, because I'm gonna point it this way, and uh, we're gonna go that way. So now that we know that, let's go ahead and turn this thing on and um, try it out. But before we do, Make sure if you try this at home, which I don't recommend you try this at home, put on some ear protection. All right, so before we do that, um, let's go ahead and get some ear protection on. All right, we're going to max power in three, two, one. Okay, so there you have it, everybody. Um, this thing is super powerful, super strong. You saw me just like totally just take off on a skateboard going uphill, uh, sort of, and uh, this thing just had no problems. And the more I started rolling, the faster um, I, I, you know, the faster it picked up speed. Um, so this thing is super powerful. So if you need to just like, um, blow out some leaves, uh, dry your car, you know, like uh, dry the water off your car or, you know, anything like that. Um, definitely, you know, pick up this Toro PowerJet F700. Super cool. Um, also, uh, I do have another comparison, comparison video where I compare this to the Harbor Freight um, shop fan. So that's going to be at the end after this and you're not going to want to miss it. So um, definitely check that out and uh, you can see which one wins. Let me know in the comment which one you think wins, the Harbor Freight fan or the Toro. And um, just to kind of, you know, um, help out with the Toro because the, the Harbor Freight fan is just so much bigger, um, I actually kind of move the Toro. So um, I think it's fair in that regard. But definitely let me know in the comments which one you think won and uh, until then, see you guys next time.